Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Dondre. As you can see, I'm standing in front of campus right now. This is my dorm campus. It's actually right across the street from our main campus. We have a few campuses actually <laughs> as a school, but the campus that I live at is this campus. It's called Yanjo Shang Gong Yu, which means Master's Living Park. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> right behind me is like the entrance gate. I don't know if you can see, but people are definitely entering and exiting campus right now. And then right behind me is like a very busy street. Anyways, I'm going to give you a dorm tour today. I know a lot of people are interested in looking at what a Chinese university dorm looks like. So let's get right into it. So I'm actually going to make this a two-part series. So if you're interested in seeing my dorm room, be sure to watch part two. This will be part one of just my dorm campus. Here's the entrance I was showing y'all. And then if you look over there, that's exactly where the entrance to like our main campuses, master's dorms are on this side and then over there on main campus would be like the bachelor's dorms, all the campus buildings, the recreational centers, all the fields, etc. So right here we got the school supermarket, most of the stuff, almost everything you can need right on campus. And behind me is the canteen. This is one of like four or five canteens we have between campus, but this is the only one we have on the dorm, master's dorm campus. It's three floors and it's a bunch of decent food. Some people like it, some people don't. You know, it's campus food canteen, it is what it is. It's one of the places where you can park your bikes and charge them or just park like these city bikes that I'm right behind right now. We got a few of these on campus. You know, everybody got e-bikes, everybody got city bikes. And you gotta have some way to park them or place them. This is actually pretty cool because they just upgraded this like a few months ago and now it looks like it's solar powered and it's way more efficient. It's more charging places and it's cheaper. So it was already cheap enough, but it's much cheaper now, man. This is what a typical Chinese canteen looks like. It's closed right now because it's Friday and the semester is basically over. So it's not that many students here left. Uh, anyways, behind me, we have like some of the food places. This is the first floor, by the way, and it would be packed during a regular day especially during like those rush hour times in between classes. All right, so right behind me is legit my favorite place in the entire canteen. It has my freaking mango smoothies. I'm broke right now, I had to put some money on my card, man. Let me give y'all a quote today, cause you know I got headspace, so. Multitasking is overrated. Bring your awareness to one thing at a time. Oh, there it is. I literally got one of these just for the video. I legit did not want one right now. <laughs> Let me give y'all that close up though. Mm. Mm. I see that. Another one of my favorite places on campus. It basically has all the fruits you could really want. They used to always have um, like mangoes and I used to really love the mangoes, but now I get watermelons a lot. It's so convenient, it's right in the canteen. One of the owners of the fruit shop was recording me while I was making the video and she edited it for uh, Douyin, which is Chinese TikTok. And she was asking if she could like send it or post it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, you can, you can, you can. So I'm sure I'm on Chinese TikTok a lot or any type of Chinese platform. Cause so many people take videos and pictures of me. It's so normal here at this point. So yeah, if y'all go see us, show some love. What I'm walking up to right now is so we have a few like utilities. They got a barbershop, which I never used, <laughs> but it's nice to have for some of the Chinese students. There's also like this telecom place where you can get Wi-Fi, you can get a cell phone service. Over here, we have like a printing center. Obviously the printing center is probably the most important and the Wi-Fi part. So behind me, we got the package station. I think everybody's pretty grateful that we got this one. Uh, they built this a few months ago but the last one was horrendous. It's much more efficient. It's a lot more organized. This is where you'll come get. Majority of your packages will come here. Uh, there is another place at the front gate that drops off like smaller packages. Behind me is the ICBC. It's not much to really be said. It's just ATMs. Uh, all of our campuses have ICBCs on them because most student cards are with ICBC, especially scholarship students. So if you need to exchange money, if you need to deposit money, if you need to pull out money, this is where to go. It speaks for itself, it's a bank. All right, so I'll be a little bit quiet here because this is the study lounge. This room is literally always open, but always packed. <laughs> the Chinese be serious about their studies. So from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester, this room is always full. It's literally never seats in there. I only been in there one time, but it's almost depressing how much they be studying. Yeah, I remember this one funny story where uh, I think it was for like a day or two, it was closed for like maintenance or something. And people like walked by 
and read the sign and they just look so sad, so depressed. And I don't know, I was like, dang, bro, y'all be studying that hard, bro. Just take a break for a day. I thought this would be pretty funny to add in, but if y'all don't know what these are, this is when we used to have to stand on those long lines to get those tests. If you know, you know. These are two pieces of remnants from history. A little bit surprised they didn't, you know, lift them and take them out of here, but I don't know. I hope they're not expecting it to come back. But uh, yeah, man, <laughs> I mean, I was only here for a little bit of it. I know other people were struggling for a lot longer, many, many years of it, but I'm glad it's only been a few weeks that I, I had to struggle through that time. I'm just glad it's over, man. A-okay, so behind me, we got our garbage disposal slash recycling station slash I've never seen such intricate garbage disposal before in my life. So props to China for doing it. Um, I actually heard a rumor the other day that it all ends up going to the same place. I don't know how true that is, but they be taking it seriously here. We have the recycling, which is the bottles and stuff. We got boxes and stuff. We got household food waste, which is all our food items. And then we have residual waste, which is like all the plastics and not like bottle plastic, but like plastic bags and Kwaiza, like our chopsticks, wooden chopsticks. And I don't know, just stuff you open packages and stuff with. All of that stuff goes into the residual waste. So pretty cool that they go so in depth with recycling. Rest of the world, y'all yeah, follow suit. I'm in the dead center, not the dead center, but I'm definitely in the center of dorm campus. We have about 17 dorms, I believe, on this campus. And there's a few things I guess you can note that uh, the Chinese dorms, uh, they're not co-ed, so it's a man dorm or a woman dorm. Except for the international students, the international students dorm are co-ed, so my dorm has men and women. Weirdly enough, we also have a curfew at 11 o'clock. Sometimes they enforce it, sometimes they don't. You know we got our secret ways to get in there and get out of there. They also, they, all of them got roommates. Like all the Chinese students, they have, they have roommates, but us internationals, we don't have roommates. It's just single rooms, but not all dorms are like that. So we are one of the few who have single rooms, single bathrooms, which is great. All right, guys, so I'm in front of my dorm. On a hot day like this, can't go wrong with a mango being shot. Mm. Yeah, this one of them ones, you feel me? 